All right, well, I thought I'd start off this video with what I uh, was supposed to do in the last video, a little bit of time lapse, finishing off welding the back. Back to the pan. Back of the pan's in, all ugly. Just got one little spot right there you gotta do. But uh, I gotta get through grinder, I'll do it from underneath. So the plan today, we're gonna tackle the dog leg. We're gonna finish welding the front of both sides of the rocker underneath and then plug weld it. I actually just got back from a little road trip. Actually, it was not far away, but uh, check these out. I found a set of, they're big block Chevy Sanderson headers. They're supposed to fit with a factory uh, steering box and I'm probably gonna do the kit where I move the motor three quarters of an inch ahead. So it should be good. Now, the problem on these things, passenger side, generally you're pretty good and these tuck real nice, so I shouldn't have any issues. Driver side, this pipe right here ends up hitting the steering box, but their little claim to fame is that pipe goes on the inside and I guess typically it doesn't or whatever. So I mean they're not equal length or anything like that, they're just whatever. But they have this weird flange on them their four bolt flange. I've never actually seen that. I don't know if that's old school or what. These look to be in good shape. They're ceramic coated. They were a good deal. Uh, worst case, I'll just zip it and weld on a, a standard flange or do something, but I'm hoping that'll work. I also picked up a uh, stupid one hand a set of uh, motor mounts. I ran these on the 55, so they're solid motor mounts, so it'll be a bit of a teeth jarer but again with the big block you run into firewall clearance issues and stuff so I want that motor locked into place as much as I possibly can so that's awesome I'm stoking those headers everything should work out good we'll get after some metal work we'll get a little bit of time lapse going where I cut it all out and uh, yeah we'll go from there subscribe to the channel tell your friends let's get at it <laughs> All right, well, we struggled through it. So, it's all on, door got pretty good. I don't know, it's an ugly metal patch. What else do you want? Um, the rocker does kind of swing out just a little bit. The other side did the same. I don't know if it's that's how it was or it's just kind of rusty. But either way, it does allow for a little more clearance uh, with the tire. So I left it that way and I don't know. I think if that's both sides are the same, no one can say anything. So, I'm gonna get to the other side so I think I just have it kind of stitched together. I got to finish welding it. I got to get in, do the B pillar a little bit better because it's just kind of tacked. Uh, I think the front is pretty good. I just got a little bit to do and zip around the uh, the front of the rocker. So really, it's actually not too bad. And I got to plug weld it underneath. But that's uh, that's real easy. Vice grip, and actually it's pretty close. So I'll just kind of pair of pliers, give it a few buzzes like I did on the top. And then we can start putting some filler in. I mean, at the front, I'm not gonna do a whole lot. It just needs the one little schmoo on the side underneath. And then where the B pillar and all that goes, it's meant to be kind of like, you know, have a little gap, or not a gap, but a step down. And then as you has a carpet and the uh, the sill plate on there, it hides everything. And the back, I mean, same thing. You just gotta kind of have this painted up so it looks decent and the sill plate will go on. I don't have any sill plates, so I'll have to track some down. But uh, four door stuff can't be that hard to get. I think I'll just get the other side done and I'll come back and we'll do maybe the other side and a, few, a little bit of welding on the front or something like that. Just watch the same thing twice back to back, it's gotta be pretty boring. The same on the right side. Okay, well I've been giving her all away. 
Uh, I didn't do a whole lot of filming while I did right now, because uh, it's boring. I ground everything down. I uh, gave the, a quick grind to the back. Again, I got you just that last little bit. And then uh, here, same thing. I just gave it a quick touch to the grinder. Everyone always asks why you grind your welds, or why I grind my welds before I seam seal it. I don't know. I just, I don't want anything sticking through. I think it looks nicer. So that's that. We got front, backs all welded. Oh, the old man knee crack. I don't know if they'll show up, but there's, oh yeah. You can see where all the plug welds were, so they all burned through nice. So they're all dialed together. I cleaned the uh, other side of the floor pan, so it's ready for seam sealer. And this side. This side, of course, was just kind of tacked together, but there you go. Away she goes. Um, oh, and I got this piece out. This was the ran across there, so it's butt welded, so it's all thing together, and vacuum the floor because I paid big money and I like the way it looks. Unfortunately, running around getting the headers and stuff like that took some time. Uh, I spent some time cleaning the shop. It's actually Saturday. On Saturdays at 7.30 Central, we do a live stream. Hopefully you guys are there. If you're not, you should stop by one night. It's pretty casual. We just answer a bunch of questions, hang out. It's a good time. It's free to join. But, uh, so I got about a half hour before we got that going. So I think what I'm going to do is glob on some filler, just front and back, and then just right in the dog leg. I'll just use my finger to get it kind of in there. If it dries fast enough, I can scuff it. I think I'm only going to do one, maybe two coats, because really, I don't care. And look, 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 look at this. Like, whoa. We're not fixing any of that, so do we really care about that? I don't think so. At this point, all the rust repair is taken care of, which is awesome. So I'm thinking I'm going to schmuck both sides while that's drying. I will probably seam seal up here because all I got to do is seam seal it. And I'm going to shoot that with paint. That's it. Uh, I did weld on the braces. It's all, it's all done. Worked out pretty good. So that's my plan. Enjoy sitting on the tripod. I'll probably back one more time. I don't know, again, how far we'll get. Because time is of the essence. But we'll probably finish this off tomorrow pretty quickly. And then the car will be rust free. Painted, painted. Man, you guys really blew me up on that Dodge video about how I painted it. I think maybe I'll go like extra slow time lapse as I like scuff the brand new paint on this just to really do it with the, instead of background music, I'll have like nails on the chalkboard. See how that goes.
Um, so I painted the uh, tow boards. So I gave them a shot of the lighter green, which looked okay, but it was clearly a lot brighter. So I sprayed a little bit of kind of black and brown. And then I gave a little shot of uh, matte clear. So it's different for sure, but uh, once you get a little bit of uh, road grime on it and whatnot, I think it'll be fine. Again, you're not going to see any of it. It's got uh, wheel tubs that cover in there. Obviously, motor and trans. So now we got the uh, the darker green. I believe it's called Sherwood Green. So we're gonna blast it now. What it looks like is the green. Well, there's obviously two greens, but uh, the lighter green must be inside the jam, which must follow this kind of curve, and then it's dark green on the outside. So I'm just gonna kind of fog it in, and then tomorrow I'll give it a quick mask and then do the other part. Because we're at the end of the night, I've run out of steam and time, but we'll, uh, eh, I want to see a little green on this thing. Or hard, medium hard, and uh, I want to see what it's going to look like. Here's your plan. Oh yeah. So here's progress we made. It's green. It's actually a really nice color. Like, it's got oh, this good. cool metallic. It'd be super cool to paint the car that. Yeah. You know what I should do is paint the whole car. But, uh, yeah, so we're done there. Tomorrow I'll come back and we'll we'll do the jams with a different color. And then we'll scuff everything up and make it look like crap. The DD Speed Shop way. But, that's it for me tonight. We're getting for, ready for the live stream. What time is it at, babe? 7.30. Central. Central. So if you guys haven't been in there, make sure you go on the next one. Saturday nights, every Saturday night. We don't miss them ever unless we do. See you tomorrow. Hoo -hoo, it is freaking cold today, I tell ya. But, uh, yeah. So the, the paint's dry, definitely shiny. So, we're gonna paint the other color real quick. I don't know what I'm gonna exactly do. I think I'm just gonna kinda put a piece of masking tape around there-ish somewhere and then just fog her in with the lighter green. Really, this part's kind of irrelevant anyways, because like I said, the the trim is going to kind of cover it with carpet and all that. So I think all you would ever see is the the darker green. But up here, you're going to see that. So, I don't know. Unfortunately, it, it's going to blend a little funny there. But I'll do a little mask line up. I'll fog it. We'll see what happens. And we got to get on the other side. I think we'll do that. Uh, I jam the steering box in the corner. So I'll have to pull that out and jam that uh, jam that bushing in. So I'd like to put the steering box and the bushing and all that back together and then hang it. Then I have tie rod ends. I'm waiting on the adjuster sleeves because they were all KO'd. So I'll put those on, then I'll have the whole steering back on. Because like I said, in the next hopefully few days, once I get that transmission, I want to set the motor in. And I am really concerned about the header to steering box clearance. Hopefully that goes well. And if, if that goes good, then I can buzz it all in. The drive line will be in like in an afternoon. If it doesn't, it'll be a snafu and I don't know what I'm gonna do. But now that's kind of holding me up, unfortunately, is drive line. It's like getting the motor in with no fenders and all that on is the way to go. And again, the way I took this thing off was as a complete front clip. So once the motor's in, drag the thing on, slap her together. Like it's, uh, it's going to come together pretty quick. Hopefully in the next week or so, I'll have a new fuel tank. So, I mean, I still got to plumb everything and all that stuff, but it's kind of one of those things like a day for this, a day for that, and the car will be really together in a hurry. So, yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's start painting this side. I forgot. Stupid memory. I haven't even sanded it. So, I got to get that together, and then, you know, blah, blah, blah. all right. Let's paint because it's fun. Look at this abomination. So, it's definitely the, the color, but nice. So, we're gonna let that set for a little bit. Then we can scrap the whole thing. I didn't do a lot of masking. I got overspray and everything. But again, I'm gonna hit that thing with some uh, 
four or five hundred grit to knock the shine out of it, and I don't think you're ever going to notice. And we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, Danny came outside. The neighbor across the creek from us, they were he's trying to... really mean. He's, we've had a few run-ins, uh, but uh, they ended up putting their car in the creek, which is pretty funny, so they're, uh, they're towing it out right now, so we're going to go watch that. Unfortunately, it's about 40 below. It's freaking cold out today. So, uh, anyways, we'll set laps up. We'll get the other side sanded down and painted, and... Uh, Ah, maybe I won't even record it. You've already seen it happen once. I'll just show you bring it back more painting it, because that's the fun part. Ooh, sweet toques. Yeah, thanks. There are winter hats in America. As promised, I got the, uh, the dark green on the bottom. She gave it two coats. Uh, let that sit. So I sanded it, gave it one coat, and while the first coat was drying, I pressed the last bushing in the searing. Put the box back in and all that. So now uh, there's no tie rods on it because I'm missing an adjuster, like I said. But we can slam the motor in and get prepared for that, which is nice. And if it has to come apart, it's all easy and nothing's cut or pinned or anything like that. So we got that dialed. We have a little break, have a little something to eat while we wait for this paint to dry. Hopefully, it'll crank the heat in the garage and that'll get uh, enough. We can tape it because I don't want to screw it up too bad. We can blast the other one on. That'll bring it back when we're going to. Make it look like crap, and I don't know, we might uh, do next. Probably just seam seal the floor, paint that, and color for the video. I think we've got uh, lots of footage, we got a lot done. See you guys in a little bit. So, a couple of hours later, this side is all ugly and shiny, which nobody wants to see, right? But it's all together, it does its thing. I'm gonna let this set up overnight. The paint's still kind of soft. Now, I know I painted uh, right over the metal. I didn't use any primer, and I did that on purpose. I kind of wanted to sand, well, I, already, I did on that side, I'll show you. Sand through, because I mean, this car has rust coming through, I mean, all that stuff. So as opposed to having another color come through, I thought oh, a little bit of rust down there would be kind of cool. <laughs> At least that was my thought process. I've been wrong before. Um, so this side, I scuffed up. So it's clearly darker. Now again, this still has like mud and dirt on it. <laughs> Look at that. It kind of just, actually the car's not too bad. He's kind of rubber down. So we're going to get Murr over here and he's going to do a little bit of work on it. But uh, I scuffed it up. It looks good in my mind. In here, it's still, you can clearly see a transition mark, but I can clean that up a little bit or do whatever, who knows. It is what it is. But that's where I'm leaving it. That's the end of this video. I'll do the other side on my own tomorrow uh, once it's all hardened up. And I think what we're going to do next, I want to put, I want to finish the interior. So I got a little bit of welding to do around the wheel tubs. So the rear wheels probably have to come off for that. And I want to put the seat in, which I have to weld some brackets, which we took off. Put the carpet in, do a few things like that. And once we get that together and the rear wheels are off, maybe we'll do the rear brakes, start doing some plumbing. I'm not really too sure, but... That's for leaving for this video. As always, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a comment below. Leave a like. Tell your friends. I'll see you guys in a couple days while we're uh, chopping this thing up. I'm hoping it'll be another video or two, and then that gets to go in. I'm excited for this.